hello and welcome to my channel my name is Nosa in case you are new here I make motherhood and lifestyle videos today I will be reviewing my SQ professional cookware set these are old pots by the way these are not new pots uh, I, I did the unboxing of this of this pot about two or three years ago on my channel and I've gotten a ton of questions people want to know how the pots are doing now if they have held up well if it is worth the hassle that I went through to get the pots yeah there's just been a ton of questions and today I thought I you know would share with you guys you know yeah give you all of these answers and also share some tips and tricks with you on how I have kept these pots to, to stay brand new up to this time so yeah if you're new to my channel i hope you subscribe i hope this video is helpful to you and if you click on this video to hear my reviews on this pot and if you're looking for new pots to buy i think this video will be very very helpful to you so please sit and relax and enjoy i have a one year old who is super clingy and you know he cries a lot these days so if you guys hear him making a lot of noise around me please just bear with me try to try to focus on me okay uh yeah so let's get started <laughs> he's fine okay he's fine he's with daddy but he can hear my voice that's why he's crying anyways let's get started so uh first of all this video is not being sponsored this is not a sponsored video this is just me sharing my honest reviews on my pods i got these pods in april of 2020 and i remember saying i was going to share the reviews you know in the uh, next couple of years so this is the sq professional cookware set it comes in a set of five or five sets it has really beautiful design and colors it actually comes in different colors I have been obsessed with this cream color from the moment I saw it and I still am. These pots are non-stick and very very lightweight and that is one thing I love about the pots. They are made with aluminum material and ceramic coated inside like three layers of ceramic coating so that whatever you cook comes out very healthy. They also heat up evenly and they are easy to use on any type of stove top. I have a gas stove top. You can use them on an induction, electric, whatever stove, whatever type of stove that you have. They are dishwasher safe, oven safe. Well, if you want to use them in the oven you have to use it without the lid and your, your oven has to be set to 205 uh, degrees Celsius they are also affordable I got this pot for about 65 or 67 dollars that's two years ago it cost me a lot to ship them because of the pandemic but right now everything is back to normal uh, I think it uh, in pounds it cost about $50 I'm not so sure but in US dollars it cost me about 65 dollars to get the set of pots okay like i mentioned earlier i got this pot in 2020 so i've had them for about two years now going on three years i i got this pot because i was looking for some nice set of pots to make my recipes on youtube i just wanted you know something to add to the beauty of cooking and this pot caught my attention i love them and i still do love them but I, I barely use them for cooking on YouTube these days. I, I have other pots like my Dutch oven, which I, I'll talk about in a few minutes. This is pretty much what I use, what I use, you know, in making my recipes these days. These have become like my everyday regular pots for cooking and I use them a lot. I cook almost every day and I use these pots a lot, all of them. And I am really, really, you know, impressed at how well it has held up. I want to say that these pots are money well spent all the hassle i went through to get the pots it was absolutely worth it there's like minimal or less scratches in the pots both inside and outside and um yeah even the leads you know the leads have held up very very nicely i have other pots that the knobs and the leads start falling off or just breaking apart after about a year these pots do not do that i also noticed that these pots do not burn my food uh, I actually I cook on medium heat to be honest, but I have other pots that I can't even boast about boiling water in them You know just steaming or stir frying or whatever everything just starts burning But that is not the case with this pot. I've tried all types of food in here different recipes rice beans soups stews everything, you know frying everything i've not used them to bake i've never tried them put them in my oven so yeah this this is money well spent and i don't regret going through the hassle of getting this pot i'll explain to you guys what i mean by the hassle and this is the smallest one i use this one almost every morning for making my kids lunch so um yeah as you guys can see it's got little scratches in the handles and just around the top like this 
but that's pretty much it the rest of the you know the body the back still looks very very new and pretty i always put a paper towel in my pots to prevent scratches especially when i have to stack them up so this is the second one and as you guys can see it looks like brand new so these are the pots the only issues i have so far is just the little scratches on the handle just on the handles and also just like on top of it like this but you can barely see it if you don't zoom your eyes in you don't see the scratches the inside of the pot still looks very very brand new shining still very beautiful and i use this pot all the time i cook with this pot every single not every day but you know a lot at least three times in a week the color the cream color which i fell in love with is tea popping you guys can see the colors it's still just very creamy okay so this is the next one and the next one and of course the biggest one i barely use this one to be honest i don't have you know anything i'm cooking that is so big uh but yeah but once in a while i bring it out and i use it to do some cooking so yeah as you guys can see everything looks still very very brand new and shining and i think that is just amazing that is money well spent so if you guys if you haven't watched my last video i told you guys that i got these pots on on ebay i found them on ebay actually i found them on amazon but I, I noticed that amazon usa do not they don't even have the pots there they don't sell it they don't ship it it's not on amazon usa so i found it on amazon uk so if you live in the uk or maybe in europe you can have access to this pot through amazon but the thing is amazon uk did not deliver to to the us or to california where i live so i had to find them on on ebay i found them on ebay the shipping was very very expensive because it was in the middle of the pandemic but i was really really determined like i, I love the pot so much and i had no other choice but no other options out there for me so i decided to just buy it and not really care too much about shipping but i think the prices are back to normal now so um yeah that was that's the hassle i had to go through to get these pots okay let's talk about how i maintain my pots to keep them to last this long and i hope they last for the next five years who knows um, one thing i do is i cook on medium heat i never ever 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 cook on high heat no matter what i'm cooking if i need my food to get done very very quickly then i use my dutch oven or my pressure pot but with this beautiful delicate pot i cook with the, i cook on medium heat and um, i also i think i said it in my last video i never ever ever use metal spoon to to stir okay so if you have metal spoons please put them somewhere just throw them away and get get yourself some plastic plastic or wooden spoons wooden spoons are my favorite i use them all the time for whatever i'm cooking frying yeah it works all the time so wooden spoon or plastic spoons will do the job another thing is i never ever 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 put my pots in the dishwasher these pots are dishwasher safe. It is there in the manual. It is said by the manufacturers. But I just, I, I just feel like the heat that comes out from, you know, the the dishwasher. It is too much for this pot, especially because I use them all the time. So I hand wash my 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 pots. I wash them and I lay them out to dry. I just spread them out somewhere to dry. This sponge is bad, very bad for washing your pots. If you have a sponge like this and you are always using it to wash inside of your pots, you are doing it wrong. Get yourself some soft sponge in my next video i'm going to show you how to wash off or clean off or remove burnt food from your pot so if you have a pot that's constantly getting burned or you just have like some burnt food that are just stuck there i'm going to show you a video on how to gently and carefully remove it and make your pots look brand new so watch out for that video it's going to be a short one and but very very detailed i have to get some pots to show you guys this so another thing i have been doing is putting a paper towel inside the pots uh, before putting another pot inside i stack my pots together because it helps to create space you can also use like a napkin just a regular napkin kitchen napkin any kind of napkin to separate the pots this will prevent scratches okay uh, yeah, I also do this for my plates, not just my pots, and it helps to it helps to keep the inside of the pot brand new and just prevent scratches uh, in general. So yeah, that's another thing I have been doing. So that is everything about the SQ Professional pots. If you have any more questions, drop them down below, and I will try to answer them. All right, okay. 
so this this is my dutch oven i've had this for about four years now and i've used it religiously this is also not sponsored by the way i got this one from amazon and yeah it has lasted this long so oh my god my the dutch oven is a very heavy pot that's the first thing you notice about it it's very heavy but it is very versatile you can use it on any any stove top it's also very durable so no matter you know the it can withstand any kind of heat whether you're using it in the oven or the stove top on coals i read reviews about people using it on coals and you know it is durable it lasts long but you can use it to bake anything fry anything i love it because i started using this more you know for my recipes especially because of the inside you know it just has this beautiful bright colored inside so when i'm cooking i love to see that bright background of the pots that i'm using black pot is also good but you know i prefer it when it is white and the material is like cast iron or ceramic you know so um yeah you can use a dutch oven for cooking anything literally anything it is perfect for frying deep frying stir frying uh baking boiling simmering i use it to make my soups and stew and rice especially my brown rice you guys know i eat brown rice a lot and this is a perfect pot for making brown rice if you struggle with using regular pots please switch over to a dutch oven and you will see a major difference another thing i love about my dutch oven is that it retains moisture so you don't experience dryness of your food when you cook with this pot that's something i experienced with my other pots so when, once i'm done cooking and i leave the food there to cook cool down uh within an hour or two i notice that the top part of whatever i cook just starts drying and just becomes flaky in a way but with this pot you can leave your food for hours and you come back and it's still just very soft and beautiful so it retains moisture if you have a dutch oven you will be saving on energy so this pot heats up really really well and you don't have to cook for a long time for your food to get done whatever you can cook in your regular pot that that should take like an hour you can use a dutch oven to cook that same thing for about 20 minutes and it will come out to perfection so that is one reason why i cook a lot with these pots uh, or i make my recipes with these pots so when i first started using my dutch oven everything i cooked literally burned there was always some burnt food in my pots every time i cooked with it and two reasons one i was cooking on high heat number two there was not enough oil in the pots you know for whatever i was cooking so my food were constantly burning and i thought i thought it was the pot so i stopped using it and i started looking for other pots but after doing some research i realized that i just had to do two things cook on medium to low heat and also make sure there's enough oil in the pots that's if i'm cooking like some soup or stew make sure there's enough oil you know especially at the bottom part of the pot so that it doesn't burn my food so that's what i've been doing make sure to cook on medium heat especially and it will reduce the burn uh if you're using this pot okay so one last thing is i never ever stack up my dutch oven i don't put any pot inside not even another dutch oven i don't do that and i also do not wash it in the dishwasher i hand wash it and i leave it out to dry and yeah it has you know always look brand new and just clean and fresh like this that will be it for today's video i'm gonna leave the links of my dutch oven and the other pots my sq professional cookware i'll leave them down in the description box so please make sure to check it out and you know see for yourself if you want to buy some and if you're looking to get a new set of pots i hope these updates or reviews have been able to help you and yeah if you guys have any questions or concerns <laughs> or compliments whatever just leave them down in the description box i would uh in the comment section and i'll try to answer them give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you and if you're new to my channel do not forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all in my next one bye